Hello, this is Carrie Finnell here, <clears throat> tuning in to Facebook Live with Prima Marketing. And I'm going to go over the watercolor coloring book today by Christine Adolf. And I'm just going to give everyone a few minutes just to join in and, uh, and you know, see what this brand new beautiful coloring book is all about. Excellent, excellent. So I'm going to try to read your comments as we go. <clears throat> and, Oops, you know, see what this I'm sorry, I have my volume on. All right, so as you know, this is uh, the t chance that we're going to um, be able to show you all kinds of new releases. And so far we've done uh, Color Philosophy, our brand new ink pads. We've done um, Love Clippings. Uh, collection, Wild and Free collection, and today is our fourth um, show, Facebook Live show, and we wanted to show the water coloring resist and foil coloring book for you, and we did call it decor because it does work as home decor if you want. So when you're done relaxing and um, coloring all of your beautiful pages, you can display it in your home beautifully, and what's great is you can do any colors you want to match your home. Uh, you can do as do them as gifts. Of course, um, Christmas is you know this weekend, but um, I think that you know we still have birthdays and anniversaries and really awesome things. And I know there's a little bit of glare on the glass, um, which it won't be a problem because I just have it in this really beautiful Prima frame. So you can see how it fits in there perfectly. Okay, so. Let me uh, put that aside just for a second. <clears throat> and I'm going to dive into this book and show you exactly what's in it. So this is um, number 971779. And I'm just going to open it up here and show you all the gorgeous designs. So what's unique about this book is that it has foil designs. Can you see some of the shine on that? Isn't that beautiful? It's made of um, with really nice um, watercolor paper base. So it can take a lot of water. You can take any art medium you want to throw at it. I'm going to flip through and show you the images as I go. So the first half of the book is all in silver foil design. And you can see that they're very beautiful botanical designs. And these are easy to color in and, you know, make for your friends, like I was saying earlier, they just would make stunning gifts. Um, but I also thought, wouldn't it be great to do four of these and hang four on your wall in the frames and just have it look, you know, just really professional and, and finished. Yes, and there's even some designs, like I would say you could probably cut some of these out and use them as embellishments on your, on your paper crafting projects that you have coming up. Because uh, some of these designs look really easy to cut out. But um, yes, we're still in the silver part. And I'm just kind of flipping through. Oh, this is a really fun one. So the center area is open for you to stamp in, uh, put your favorite sentiment in there, um, maybe hand, do some hand lettering, anything like that. Uh, that would be really, really cool. And so I love that she did that. Another one. Here's another really pretty one. Yes. Oh, and now we're on to the gold. So the first half of the coloring book were gold or silver images, and now we're going into gold. Yes. Very, very pretty. Hi, Vero. Thank you for joining us. I see some hearts. That's great. You guys are loving this. But I'm hoping that I can catch the shine on this because it's really, really beautiful. And, you know, like I said, there's so much shading you can do, and you can do a lot of background coloring. But just look at these gorgeous designs. So much detail in some of the flowers. So when you start adding your color, all of the foil images will resist the colors, and <clears throat> you'll have, let's say, you know, colored gold, fo gold foil flowers, and um, then the background can be whatever you like. So these are just, oh, I just love every single one of these. So, you know, we have winter approaching or some of you on the other side of the world, the other side of the equator, um, getting into summer, but I could see you sitting down and relaxing and coloring these in no matter what season it is. You know, if you want to 
sit in color under the sun or if you want to cozy up you know someplace warm and do this in front of the TV at night or maybe by the fire that would be nice you know coloring is just a very relaxing and beautiful thing to do for yourself it just helps you unwind for the day now what I also like about these designs is they're large enough too where if you have maybe you know poor eyesight uh, maybe a little bit of arthritis in your hands or carpal tunnel. There's not a lot of tiny little details that you have to kind of get in there and, you know, worry about. Um, this is actually very friendly for those of you that, you know, need a larger image to color in. Now look at this. Postcards. How cool is that? So you can make your own postcards and send them in the mail. They're beautiful. Look at this. Isn't that a great idea? Thank you. It is. It's very nice and open. So there's a lot you can do creatively, I think. Um, oh, and look at tags. So the tags are wonderful because, you know, you can color these in and then cut them out. There's a little line here for you. It just shows you exactly where to cut. You can use your little hole punch and put these on your cards, um, gift bags. And look at these tags and bookmarks. Here, let me turn this around so I can show you. Aren't those beautiful? I can see these, you know, being hung off the handles on a gift bag and, and colored and just looking very beautiful and given to your friend. Maybe if you give a friend a book, you can give the, you know, hand colored uh, bookmark to go with it or put this on the gift bag, you know, so they can save it for later and use it. But I just love these ideas. I don't have the Julie Nutting Dolls coloring book, unfortunately, Vero. I wish I did, because I would totally show it to you. You know, I don't keep anything a secret. I have to show everything I get. Um, but this is the only one I happen to get in the mail from Prima so far. But I promise you, as soon as I get the Julie Nutting one, I will definitely share it. Or maybe better yet, we can have Julie come on and share it. You know, that would be a really fun Facebook Live show. Okay, so, again, like we were saying, these pages are really nice and open. So, if you look at this, like you'll be able to stamp, you know, all around the, the edges uh, and really kind of customize this any way that you like. Sorry, my, uh, I keep opening the book and the top part is getting caught on my router so I can't seem to like, you know, get this even here. So I'm just going to move the camera just a little bit. Sorry about that. It's, it's very nice and thick and I'll tell you, like you can see how thick it is. Isn't that great? And um, I added, here's the one I colored er, earlier, I showed it earlier. I know some of you are just tuning in. Sorry about the glare. I'll take it out of the frame. The frame was just such a cute touch. Um, and this is a Prima frame. This is our 8x10 decor frame. So a uh, store near you can order this. We have them available from when we first came out with coloring books, of course. So you can see, I'll show you up close. There's the foil. It's like, bam. All right. So I added a lot of water to this and it is not warped at all. Like look how nice and straight that is. So, you know, you can really kind of go to town and if you're ever worried about it, um, you know, warping a little bit, just put it underneath a, a, a nice heavy book and it'll flatten right out. But I'm telling you, I didn't even need to do that. I just stuck it in the frame and it was done. So yeah, so I was really excited to show you guys these, and I'll tell you why. I'll give up, just kind of, I, you know, I like to share a lot of things, but uh, we also have some coordinating stamps coming out, <laughs> which so be on the lookout for those. And when we show, you know, we're going to be showing our new releases like for the next few weeks, right up until um, the show. So be sure to check into Prima's Facebook page every day and our blog as well. It's prima.typepad.com. And if you go to Instagram and follow our Prima Marketing Inc. Um, Instagram page, we have giveaways all the time. So we'll be doing giveaways for brand new stuff. And we'll be showing all the coordinating brand new things that go with this so that you guys can stay in the know and see, every you know, see everything that we're coming out with. Thank you. Christine Adolph has joined us. Thank you, Christine. This is a gorgeous book, and I love it. And thank you for complimenting my my page. <laughs> I am such a leaker. I cannot, 
Oh, sorry. I cannot keep my mouth sh shut at all. They tell me everything last because they know. All right, so let's get to it. Let's start coloring. I'm going to set this aside here. And I'm going to get out my, uh, my water brushes, which are well loved and used, as you can see. But I've got some water in them, thank goodness. And I have, let's see, I have um, my watercolor confection uh, set here, Pastel Dreams. Pastel Dream set is uh, 590253. So we came out with this um, in the summer. It's still relatively new. Uh, it, we came out with two of them. We came out with this one in Shimmering Lights. Shimmering Lights has a lot of the uh, really shiny, neutral colors in it. And this one has a lot of fun, you know, just bright and cheerful colors in it. So I thought for the camera we would use something kind of cheerful and, and bright just to, you know, make sure that we have. You guys can all see what I'm doing. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna go with this really beautiful pink color here. I'm gonna get it going, and I'm just gonna start coloring that in. Now, there's two different ways you can do this. You can, excuse me, um, I think I'm coming down with a cold. I apologize. Um, there's a couple things you can do here. You can just go right to it with some water on the end of that brush and the color already on the tip. Or what I like to do sometimes, especially when I want to do like an ombre effect, I will just go in and just kind of prime it a little bit with some water on my brush. And then I'll go in and grab that color and just kind of let the water move its, move the color along, you know, the water will move it. So you can do it a couple different ways, whatever way you like. See, this gives you a little bit of freedom to go right in and uh, start adding a completely different color if you choose to. So maybe we can add a little bit of that orange and just kind of blend those two together. You know, you just wanna be really careful and let, like I said, let the water work for you. And that way, you know, you won't get mud either. Okay, you can pick that up and just keep going over to the side with it. So you can get a two-toned effect very very beautiful and then I can even go back in go direct to the color and start bringing that in a little bit clean off my brush just a tiny bit get some water in there and just dab the water on so so that's really pretty yeah so there's a, just a couple ways you can do this um, if you want to mix the color a little bit more you can have just a very very tiny bit on your brush go with the orange go to the pink and bring those in as well. So then you can get a two-toned effect very easily that way as well. But look how, now I can go in and dab, but look how pretty the foil is and the foil resisted it. So that was so perfect. So it may be just a coloring book, like I see a lot of coloring books out there, but I think what's really unique about ours is the watercolor background because that gives you a little bit of freedom to blend and mix right in here. And it's actually really, it kind of makes it a little bit more fun to um, experiment, experiment, sorry. And uh, I can even go back over the colors if I want to, like let's say I don't really like them. Not that I didn't like them, I did. So, but I'm just showing you like all the possibilities so you can mix the colors right on the pad. Because that watercolor paper is very, very forgiving and I'm barely squeezing any water out of the brush. Like, a tiny bit of water really goes a long way. You see that? So that's just really pretty. All right, so we've got that one done, and I think maybe uh, I'll go to this really pretty aqua color. My brush is probably a little bit dirty. So this one's a little bit more pastel, no worries. I can even go in with this other blue here and brighten it up and make my, my very own color and just kind of go around. So no worries about uh, staying in the lines. That foiled pattern, that resist, really helps it kind of keep that color in there. If you're funny about, you know, how, um, you know how it's gonna look and you maybe you're a perfectionist and you want it to just kind of stay in the lines 
the resist foil will help you do that. So when you go to use art mediums that have more water, you're gonna be totally happy with this. All right, let's see. I'll just add the blue up here. I'm just gonna color away. So far so good, everybody. Excellent, I see a lot of hearts, that's good news. Here, I'm gonna clean this off a little bit on my... I'm gonna add, go in just with that straight up pink. Why not? So is everybody all set for the holidays? I know it's coming up. This weekend's gonna be a busy one. Hope everybody's got fun plans and doing fun things with your family and friends. I just went and got my son home from college yesterday. So uh, the oldest son, number one son, is home now. So that was a nice, that was a big relief. We had to go down to the city and get him. Yes, he loves it down there. All right. So I'm just gonna keep going in with this pink. I don't know, I'm just loving these brighter colors. Like it does say pastel set, but I feel like some of these colors are still really very dynamic and very rich. So don't be fooled. I was kind of fooled. But then I get them out. Actually, I love all of my sets, so. Look how just fun and fast and easy this is. Hope you don't mind watching me color. I hope it's not boring you. But um, I think this really kind of makes the whole thing come to life. Oh yeah, we're, we're doing this upright. I think that's a little too yellowy for me still. All right. And then I can go back and add a little more yellow over here too. Look at that. So even though I had those colors already layered and they're kind of drying, I can still go back in and add a little bit of that yellow. I love that freedom. You know, and you can use our watercolor pencils on this as well. Um, but if you haven't had a chance to um, to try the confections, I highly recommend them because they're just really, really fun. Okay, there's kind of a glare so that I can see that. So there's a little bit up close of some of that color. Yes. So isn't this just so fun? Like, I don't know. I This is to me is right up my alley. I, I You know, I see coloring books out there. And yes, they're very pretty, most of them, but I, um, I really like this one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to go in with, hmm, a little bit of periwinkle, why not? There's this really beautiful periwinkle color. Now oh, it's kind of light. Maybe I'll mix it in with this purple over here. Don't worry about, um, getting the colors mixed into your, your paints, because they come right off. At least for me they have. Oh, look at that purple. That looks really pretty. See, I'm kind of going fast here because, you know, I want to show you, I want to get as much done as I can for you. And for those of you that are tuning in late, this is the Christine Adolph uh, Foil and Resist Coloring Book. And before the show ends, I'll go back in and kind of share with you um, the, the inside of the book again, so don't worry. And Sharon is on the chat, and she's going to answer any questions that you may have. Um, like I said, this is a brand new release we're coming out with, and these are going to be shipping to stores very soon. There we go. Now, I'm going to switch over to my Decadent Pie. So, you can see that this Decadent Pie set is very well loved. Um, the number on this is 584276. So, this is one of our original palettes we came out with. Um, and I go. this is my go-to set because it has some colors in it that I just absolutely love, including this green. So this green is my absolute favorite. And um, it just has a nice, bright, deep tone to it. It's kind of earthy, but yet it you can still use it with the bright colors and I think it mixes in really, really well. All right, so I'm gonna do that. So you can see how pretty that is. And I can just go, keep, I could just keep going with this. This is just so much fun. All right, so I am coloring outside the lines a little bit, but I don't care. 
I don't care. I'm having so much fun. Um, you can make your own um, new green by taking some of that darker green from my set. And I'm going to put it in my well. And then I'm going to grab some of this midnight blue that's right next to it. It's this really dark kind of navy blue that's in the decadent pie set. Um, it depends. If you mix a little bit more blue, you'll get more of a teal. If you mix more of the green, you're going to get this really beautiful kind of mossy green. Now you can mix that in with the existing color. That's what I love about this. You're really not limited to only the colors that are in the set. Okay. All right. So I don't know if you can see that. I'll hold this up, but it's a, a little bit darker. I'm cleaning off my brush and I'll go back in with some more, a little bit more. Ooh, I went in with a lot more. Ooh, that's fine for me. So you see, I'm adding a lot of paint and a lot of water, and it's really not affecting, it's not affecting the design at all and it's not affecting the paper. So let me hold that up for you. Can you see that? Look at that, it just looks like it was professionally printed and it's yours. Like you could just go crazy. There's that purple one I did. Okay. So this is a must have, you have to get this. So if you don't already love her products, which we already have, as you know, the uh, adhesive rub-ons, those are rub-ons with glue. You rub them on, peel it up, stick foil on it, bam, you have a fun foiled word or design. You know, she came out with so many different beautiful designs. And they also make all of this very, very easy for home decor. So, yes. Does anybody have any questions? Christine is very talented. She is, she's amazing. She has a new book out. She has some stamps, which you guys will see, which I leaked to you already. Um, so yes, it's just, I love it. Sorry, I was just getting little globs of paint. <laughs> I somehow got on there. So let me show you the other side. There's nothing on the other side. You can see a little bit where maybe some of the water just started to warp it, but my gosh, it's, you know, really, the color's not bleeding through. You know, these are highly pigmented paints, um, so you're going to be very good to go. And you can you can color with confidence that it's not going to bleed through your next design in the next page. Okay, so let me, um, again, I'll just flip through the book again really quickly and show you. So the first half of the, <clears throat> of the book is silver, so you get a lot of beautiful silver foiled botanical designs all different I just love all of these like I said you could color a series of these and put them in frames and in your in your house here's one again where you could put the sentiment on the inside or photo or anything you like like this could be totally framed and uh, put in your home and then the second half of the book has gold foil images again hand-drawn by Christine all very very beautiful ready to um, add your own color to and shading and I just love look at the detail on that flower Isn't that cool I mean you know with coloring books are a dime a dozen but when you come out with something that is really unique and beautiful and something that you would really be proud to display in your home I think that's a big difference you know that makes like I said anyone with um, you know poor eyesight or maybe carpal tunnel or arthritis in their hands and they want to color but they can't get in those teeny little details I think that this book would be perfect, really, really perfect for someone like that. All right, let me flip through to the back again. Look at the postcards. Aren't they nice? So the postcards you can, you know, color in and send off in the mail. And someone would love to get this, I bet. So you get that. You also get some cute tags. Tags are foiled. You can color these in, cut them out add them to cards, gift bags, and then we have the tags and the bookmarks. Again, you know, color these, cut them out, give, them, give a book as a gift and include one of these on the gift bag. They can use it to, um, you know, keep track of where their pages are and it's hand colored by you. Uh, just very unique, just like you. So yeah, a, just a, a wonderful coloring book. And yes, we also have 
a media book, Prima Princess's book coming out, a Julie Nutting coloring book. Someone had mentioned earlier, and yes, we will be doing that. We'll show that as well. Um, so we like to come out with our own, you know, just kind of uh, unique spins on a lot of the coloring books that you see out there. And I think that this one is one you definitely want to get. Um, we also have coloring books by Sandy Pirelli. Um, she has Main Street Behind the Garden Gate. Um, beautiful, beautiful hand-drawn books, actually, in a spiral binding that you can flip back and keep on your lap and color. And it's perforated so you can tear them out and also give them as a gift or frame them as, if you like. But here's the one I finished earlier. Um, it's upside down. <laughs> well, no, it might not have been. I mean, you guys would have never known, right? <laughs> so that's it for Facebook Live. Um, tomorrow we have a brand new video being released on YouTube. And then we'll be back here on Facebook Live same time on Friday with Finibear's new products. So I cannot wait to share those with you guys. I think that you're going to just love what she came out with. And I'm very excited to show it. I'll be the host that day because Finn's very busy. She's out teaching around the world. So, um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see you on Friday and have one last little peek at some new releases. And, um, and then we'll let you go for the weekend and, and enjoy your holiday. So... All right, everybody, thank you so much. It was a pleasure, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll be in touch soon. All right, take care.